Hey guys, <laughs> come on in the room. Come on in the room. Rumor has it, I heard something. I did. This is ground before I get it, right? I heard something, guys. Guess what I heard? I heard that you've been ghosted. Both of you, either you or your person. Y'all ghosting each other, right? Y'all not talking to each other. It's quiet on the hall front. It's ghosted, right? They're not calling you. You're not calling them. They're not texting you. You're not texting them. They're not liking your photos. You're not liking photos. Y'all not speaking about the holidays. And none of it. None of it. Guys, you have been ghosted. How do you feel about that, right? Having a hard time? Let's pull some ghosted. And then we're going to figure out why things are silent between you and your person. Why are y'all ghosting one another? Y'all both are booing one another like boo. They boo you, you boo back. Because you, you're not reaching out. They're not reaching out. So who ghosted who? Holy Spirit. Spirit, I'm going to let you pull with these. Who, who ghosted who, Spirit? <laughs> All right. Somebody got ghosted because they were handing out empty emotions, empty emotions, empty promises. I'm the kind of woman you lose while chasing what you thought you wanted. What? Okay. So somebody got ghosted because they was busy out there chasing and handing out empty emotions. And uh, homegirl got over it. She said, nope. She goes, I love it when I get ghosted. I know I just dodged an encounter with a snowflake who is too weak to handle anything uncomfortable. So this woman here, she fine with it. She fine with it. She said, this person here, this man, yep, because it's a woman talking. She said, this person's been handing out empty promises, you know, whatever. So, basically, you ghosted them. You ghosted them because they talked the talk and didn't walk the walk. Now, let's go a little deeper with the looking glass. What's going on here, guys? Why are they handing out empty promises? What can't you see? Hmm. Right now, you can't re you can't see that they just keep replaying events over and over and over and over again in their head. They replaying everything. It's like a tape recorder. They just rethinking everything how they did it. But you thought somebody they're waking up together with somebody. <laughs> they're waking up together with somebody. Morning kisses, Sunday morning, and the sunshine. So they was handing you empty promises because they was waking up with someone else. Okay? They was waking up to someone else. This person may even be in a soul connection, a partnership or a marriage. That's why they was handing out empty promises. Okay? Holy Spirit, one more. Or two more. This person could be in a in a, a codependent uh, relationship. Could be substance abuse. Could be possessive. So that's what's going on there. But Spirit wants you to know you got the bow and arrow. So love is coming towards you and working in your favor. You got a new love coming in, guys. Although you've been silenced over here, been silenced of the lambs, you got a new love coming in. Your person's stuck. Your person stuck, possibly married, waking up to someone else. They're married. They're in a connection. Marriage, soulmate, whatever. They got an agreement with this one. All right. You two don't belong. Oh, it doesn't matter. It's closure part one and part two. Summer part. Part two. All right, guys. So it looks like you probably need some closure, right? Or maybe they do. Maybe you do if they're married. Because you ghosted them, but you can't stay ghosted forever. Are you just going to let it linger or are we going to close it? Home spirit. Give me some closure. Oh. It says, look at yourself and say, you know what? I effed up. My worth is more, more than, my worth is more than that. That's your closure. All right. Just look at yourself and be like, you know what? I effed up. My worth is more than that. But your person is waking up for somebody else. Whether they married or not, they're waking up to somebody else. This doesn't mean you're not worth it. They did you a favor. Mm. 
That's too many. That's too many spirits. Too many. Oh, God. Let go of the attachment and keep the lesson, guys. I'm going to take these three. If you really want closure, you have to shut this door. And the truth is for every person who doesn't value you, there are tons waiting to love you better. And this right here is your bow and arrow that's coming in. Mm -hmm. So your person's laid up. Your person's married. They're either married or in a connection. So they was handing out empty promises and waking up to somebody else. So you ghosted them because they was handing out empty promises or whatever. You did. But that's why. That's why they ghost you. Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're not putting any more work in there. You're going to take the L. You, you're going to take the L because you found out that this person has a family, a ten of pentacles. Didn't I just say it? Yep. You just found out. You're going to take the L. You just found out that your person. Yeah. Queen of Pentacles. They could be married. Queen of Pentacles judgment. Yep. Your person gone. <laughs> they off the market to be quite honest. And there's your decision. You're gone too. You're gone too. Because you found out this person is the emperor. They're caping for someone else. Yeah. You're not. Mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. Yeah, you got your clarity. You got your answers. And you're walking away. Told you. Eight of Cups. You're like, I can't do shit with this. <laughs> you you married. I can't do shit with this. I can't do nothing for you, man. Right? And then his wife is watching you. And this Page of Swords energy. This Queen of Pentacles. The Queen know who you are, too. They know it was some deception. But you, you're going to heal. This is your judgment. You're fine. You're, you're fine. You're, you're, you're in a space of healing. You're not dealing with this deceit. You're not dealing with no lying person. And you be damned if you're going to be second to a wife, right? This ain't no, uh, well, they can have second and third wives. And if they could have second and third wives, God damn it, you're the first, right? Even if you agree to that, to be a second, third, or fourth wife, you know. If you're not the first wife, then you're not a wife. Bump that. <laughs> Bump that. This person ain't got no chance. You're done. You're letting go and you got a whole new world in front of you guys. Take it. That past there doesn't have a chance in hell. It's in reverse. They don't. You want balance. You're looking for balance. You released yourself from the devil. You realize this person can't love you. They can't offer you any proposals. It can't go any further than this. It won't even lift up off my table. They're married. Yep. Not a cups in reverse, guys. I just thought you should know. I should thought you should know. So, you ghosted for a reason. You probably didn't know why, but now you do. Thanks for watching, guys. This person is taken. They wake up to somebody else mm -hmm. every day. They said they wake up together, morning kisses, Sunday morning, sunshine. They happy. They wake up to somebody else every day, except for the day they rotate you in. All right, guys. I'm just letting you know because we're friends and you need to know this about your person. Don't wait. Stop silencing it. Finish it. Shut the door. Don't ghost them. Be done with this one. There's no more ghosting here. There's no more ghosting here. Don't play the game. Be done. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Peace.